Thousands of mosquito bites and been wrongly accused of murder since beginning his 4,000 mile trek along the Amazon. But today a former soldier from Leicestershire finished an epic challenge to become the first person to have walked the entire length of the river. John Brain reports. They'd walked 4,000 miles, but they still had the energy to run the last few yards. It's just fantastic. I didn't think it was going to sink in here and now, but it, I'm just overwhelmed. It's fantastic. Yeah, two and a half years of walking through the Amazon and we're here at last. Well, this monumental journey began in April 2008 at the source of the Amazon in southern Peru. Six months into the trek, Stafford and Rivera had liquid concrete thrown at them by villagers who thought they were oil prospectors. The following year, they were put in jail, accused of drug trafficking in the Amazonian city of Jerua. But today they arrived at Journey's End, Maruda Beach, where the Amazon meets the sea. As you can see, it's just a wall of jungle. They filmed as they went, capturing the challenge of cutting their way through dense jungle. And regularly coming across hostile wildlife. <coughs> Wasps. <coughs> I'm swallowed a few. Ow. Ow. Their mental and physical endurance tested to the limit. I'd be lying if I didn't say the most overriding feeling is hunger. Unbelievable. Back home, Ed Stafford's mother followed her son's journey every step of the way. I think mentally it's a huge challenge to keep going day after day with this jungle enclosing you, just macheting your way through intense jungle. That must take huge willpower. Willpower which has Ed Stafford already planning another expedition, one which he says will be every bit as challenging as this one. John Brain, BBC News. Now time for a brief look at tomorrow's front pages, the uh, front of The Guardian reflecting events in Pakistan.